This week on Horner's Corner, we look at drama inside Akron Public Schools, and no one does it better than Firestone High School. This fall's production is the odd couple, the female version. Talented students being instructed to a high level. Let's paint the picture this week and introduce you to the actors of the odd couple. This week on Horner's Corner with Akron Public Schools. This happens to be the female version, which was created by Neil Simon, the playwright, in the 1980s. So all the roles are just reversed. But it's still the same play that you expect it to be, uh, you know, with Oscar and Felix. Uh, now they just happen to be women. Instead of playing poker with their friends, they're playing Trivial Pursuit with their friends. And the, the rest of the story is pretty much the same. One, two, three, four, five. Size me. Oh, you're going to love this. How many times a year does a penguin have sex? Do you know any penguins? Intimately? That shouldn't be science and nature. That should be gossip. I said they do it six times. Why only six times? You ever see what they look like? They look on ice. Well, this is my first actual play at Firestone. So the experience for me, it's been really wonderful because I have never had like to this extent, such a team building thing, I've become really close with like the, the cast members and we have like our own set of jokes and I'm just really happy I've made a lot of new friends and Darling. stuff. I told you not to call me tonight. Yeah. All right, give me one second. Mickey is your husband. I wish you were having an affair with him. Then he wouldn't bother me all the time. Hello, Stanley. Um, it's very different. We're like a tight-knit family and we all work together to create the most wonderful show that we can do and to be able to put that on and perform it in front of people to give us the opportunity and gain experience in the theater community is wonderful. Oh, that's us. Well, I'm not gonna, oh yeah, I need my purse. Try to set the bar really high for kids because kids will live up to your expectations. So we just let them know from the beginning that we're looking for the best possible work and, and uh, good enough just isn't always good enough. We have to always strive to be better uh, than we were the day before. And so these kids have been rehearsing a little more than five weeks. And uh, you know, it's a lot of lines to learn, a lot of blocking. We had to build all this set and gather the props and the costumes and that sort of thing. So it's, it's a lot of work, but it's worth it. And, uh, you know, they learn about performing and producing theater, but they learn a lot of life lessons along the way, too. Again, sports. What do four sports are carrying in the hands of each or running a hurdle in the 1908 Olympics? Extra traffic shorts. Is that your answer? If you say that one more time, I'm going to take you hostage. I swear to God. You carry a Bible. That's right. The woman's unbelievable. Since I've been at Firestone, I didn't come into Firestone with a whole lot of confidence, but being in the program and working with my peers and working with Mr. Zimmerman, I have gained my self-confidence. I'm more comfortable with myself. I can express myself. I'm very good at public speaking now because of theater. 